when it comes to learning FAA, because there's so many different tools and what boundary conditions you can apply and so on. Like, if you delve into the FAA world, how would you personally get started? Is it like just picking any software and just jump straight into a project? Or would you pick a project and then find a specific FAA software that's suitable for this project? How would you approach this? Uh, okay, so I think I will, I will try to explain it based on my own experience. So I learned the most of uh, FEA uh, during my thesis. So the first thesis was the bachelor's one. Um, and I was like investigating how the skateboard will deflect. So skateboard is made of some plywood. So essentially I was learning how the composites uh, can be analyzed in FE software. So uh, at that point I was using ANSYS, but it, like the software really doesn't matter if you know what you are doing. So at that time I didn't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was doing so I had to learn everything from like from scratch. Uh, I had to understand um, the physics of composites, and then I was able to use ANSYS properly. Uh, so I, I guess to be able to learn FEA, it's actually the best to start with some projects. Uh, that like you don't have to have much experience within the area but it has to be a challenge for you so you are actually like open to something new um and yeah that that allows you to grow um but like speaking of learning fea uh, i think it has to be um, divided into three components let's say so um fea is not only about the the methods or the software. So uh, I would say it's like computer modeling. Um, there is finite element methods and there is other part of science that has to be learned. So the computer modeling, it's fairly easy, although like it's fairly easy to learn when you've got access to the software uh, because it's only about finding out which button to click uh, and where are the settings and how to operate within a um, like digital environment. And then there is the finite element method. So it's essentially a like mathematical concept that you need to figure out. And you could run FEA study without knowing what's the finite element method, but it's like driving a car on a first year all the time. So it's really hard to do something more um, in any software. And then there is also this other science bit. Um, and I think it's actually the most difficult to understand it because you've got like mechanics, uh, you've got strength of materials, material science, thermodynamics, everything together. And it's actually not that easy to connect the dots between uh, some part of science, some equations connected to finite element methods and then connected to the to like to any type of software if you have some experience then it's actually uh, if you've got some experience with science then it's not that hard to move to finite element software I would say but if you like start from scratch then everything is new for you and sometimes you just need to learn something I would say by heart and then you will start like seeing seeing the connection between the dots. So I would say, yeah, it could work this way. 